All right, so in this video for Photoshop 101 tutorials, we're going to look at the text tool and all of the things that are inside that uh, the horizontal type tool, vertical type tool, um, and the masks. Um, so pretty standard, pretty basic horizontal text tool is literally going to be uh, horizontal text. Um, make sure that uh, your color is set to the color you want. Right now my foreground color is white. Uh, we don't want that so we can click uh, down here and go to black um, or we can click up here in this top box and change the color to black. Um, your fonts that you have uh, up here at the top uh, is going to be a drop down list of all of the fonts that you have installed on your computer. Um, Photoshop will automatically pull all of those fonts and put them in here for you. Um, there are a lot that I have. Um, up at the very top are going to be fonts that are have been recently used and then um, the fonts will then go alphabetical order from uh, top to bottom. Um, you can type up here if you know the name of a certain font that you want. Uh, you can type that. So I'll, I'll type uh, future and we'll click future bold um, let's see, we'll just want to do future of bold heavy. We'll go with that. Um, it's going to generate this uh, text uh, as just when you when you click that text tool, it's going to just make this so that you know where the text is at. Um, to change that, all you have to do is start typing. So we'll do this as uh, sample text, <coughs> and then. To get rid of uh, the little bar there, uh, you can click uh, this little check mark up here, and that's going to create your text layer. Or when you're inside there um, and you're done typing, you can just click off of it uh, to a different layer, and then it'll go um, and enter that text into that spot. Whatever text that you type will appear here in your layers panel as the name of that layer. So it's sample text is what I type, so sample text is what shows up here. Um, if you want to modify your text, uh, change the wording or change something on it, um, make sure that your layer is highlighted here and then just double click the big T in the layers panel and it's going to highlight all of your text. So say we want to change that to you know, something else, we can do that there. Um, if we're only wanting to change a certain thing, just click inside there. So say we you know, misspelled something, we just would click inside there. We can go back, delete that, and then fill it in with uh, something new. Um, you can click anywhere you want in here. Very straightforward as far as uh, text input goes, similar to all other programs. Um, the place where I live the most uh, you've got this bar here up on the top with your text, um, the font style. Some fonts, when you download them, have different styles. This one has a heavy and a heavy italic style. Uh, some don't have anything. It just depends on the fonts that you have installed in your computer. Um, you can modify the uh, font size. Um, if I were to go and just make this uh, 30 size font, it didn't do anything. You have to have your text highlighted that you want to change. Uh, the size. So say it's all highlighted now, and I want to go to 30, it'll drop it all to 30. If I want to go to 72, it'll make it 72. You can also um, click and type any font size. So say I wanted to do 100 font size, and then I would hit enter, and it's going to make my font size uh, 100. Um, to move it back over, so that's all on your canvas, uh, just click your move tool here at the very top, or hit uh, V. Uh, which is the hotkey for the move tool and then you can move it and place it uh, wherever you want um, and then you can hit uh, the T or type tool um, here uh, and get back into your type tool. Um, you can change the style of lettering so you can be you know make it sharp, make it crisp, um, strong or smooth these things don't modify the text a whole lot. Uh, they do a little bit, but it's not extremely noticeable. Um, I just leave it, you know, sharp or leave it at, at none. 
um, whichever, you know, there's not really, it's just your preference. Certain things look better that filled out a little bit more of the lines. Uh, so we'll put it at crisp. Um, you can also align the text with the text box itself. So right now it's at left align. If we were to go here, it's aligned left all the way to the edge of um, where it's at. So we'll double click the text, uh, we'll align center. So now that way when we type, say we want it to go to a new line, uh, sample text, we hit enter and we do uh, test one. We'll go ahead and capitalize that. Test one, and it'll make it um, aligned to the center of that other text. So you don't have to worry about uh, messing with it. Or if you wanted everything to align to the left or the, to the right, um, you could do that. Uh, and you can do that for individual lines, as you just saw. So it doesn't have to be the entire thing. But if you wanted the entire thing to be aligned to the left, you just highlight it all, align it all to the left and then you can drag it back over so it fits inside your um, your box there. So this is all good here up at the top. You can change the color. Um, you can also change, you know, add different uh, effects to it, to, to warping and different other things like that. So um, we'll go ahead and just delete that bottom one. We'll stick with this sample text and we'll go ahead and click on this, this warp um, section there and it's going to pop up a little dialog box to warp the text and then in this drop down menu you'll see style right now we have no style to it so it's not warped um, all of these little things will warp it in different ways so we can click warp arc and we can set that bend to you know whatever size we want if we want to do a negative bend it'll, it'll set it negative um, we can warp it so it's stretch this direction that direction and then the same thing with the vertical warp you know all kinds of different stuff here this I don't use a whole lot um, there's better ways to warp a text and you know type type of text in a circle uh, and that'll be on another video that I'll show um, but you can do all sorts of just different crazy things with the text here you can make the the lower arc leave the top flat um, so on and so forth. So these are things that you can mess around with in the warp of um, the text. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Um, the rest of this stuff, uh, you know, you can turn it to a 3D object if you wanted to. I don't recommend doing this. It's going to switch your design space to a 3D design space and something that's uh, not great. But these are all options to modify it. An easier way, I think, and it's kind of where I live in the text tool whenever I'm doing messing with the text, is this character panel over here. It's got the capital A with the cursor marker after it. If you don't see this here over on your side, you can go to Window and then um, go down to Character, click on that, and it's going to open up that character panel for you. Off to the side over here is everything that you see here up on the top and some um, and these extra things are going to be what's important um, it's also a lot easier to select your font from over here when you click this drop down it's not over the top of your font so you can fully see everything it just makes things a little bit better I think um, so say we wanted to change the font to a Matic we can do that we can change the size of it to whatever we want um, we can change uh, line height um, here so if we had two different um, fonts or two different lines in here, so say we uh, will add another uh, sample again. So we've got that there. <coughs> um, say we wanted to change the line height. Right now it's set to automatic. If we wanted to do the line height, we're at 100 uh, points for font. So say we went to 72, it's going to bump them closer together. We're still touching over there though, so maybe we go to 80. And now our font is much closer. Um, for some reason the font is uh, messing up there. So we'll go ahead and uh, switch it over to a different font. Say we'll go Dream Maker and we'll set the font to 60. That way it gives you guys a better idea. Um, so we've got our line in between them set to 80 points 
uh, let's go to 60 points and let's see what happens. So they get a little bit closer. Um, this <coughs> section here um, is going to be, let's go ahead and center those two things together. Um, you can set this to metric or optical. Um, it's going to give you a little bit different spacing in between the lettering. Um, metrics is a standard. Um, you can also set spacing for the vertical alignment of VA. So for uh, in between the letters, we can go to negative 50 and it's going to push the letters closer together. Um, or if we went to 75, it's going to space them out. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do inside this little panel here um, that's going to make things um, easier for you to modify and change text. You can also set the text height. So right now it's set to 100 uh, vertical, 100 um, horizontal uh, scale. <clears throat> so it would be the same as essentially stretching the text box like this. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, or you can uh, just simply change the text height by this, making it you know 110 percent, um, and it'll just make that uh, text just a little bit taller. Um, and then uh, these are indention points. Right now we don't have any indentions, but you can change the points of that. And then you've got all of these little things here. Uh, this first one is going to put a faux bold on it, so it, you click that, and then it's just going to make the characters, you know, look a little bit more bold. Um, you know, this is already a pretty bold font, so it's not. Uh, sorry about that. The computer is going a little slow right now. Uh, it's already a pretty bold font, so it's not really going to do much. Um, yeah, I see it did right there. It took a little bit for it to get there, but. Um, you know, it made it a little bit more bold. It eliminated some of the texture and design that we have inside of the text. Uh, so we don't like that. So we'll go ahead and just unclick that to make it go back to its regular um, regular font. You can uh, italicize it. You can make all the letters capital. We already have a capital font. Everything is already capital in this font. Um, you can make everything small caps. So the first letters are all going to be large capitals and the next one are all going to be small capitals. Um, you can make everything superscript um, or subscript or you can put lines underneath everything or lines through everything. So there's a lot of different things that you can do in this little character panel that you can't do um, up here in this normal, you know, in your normal toolbar up on top. So. <laughs> as far as fonts go, as far as text go, a character panel is pretty much where you want to live um, to be able to modify and edit your fonts. In the the type tool, you've also got uh, the vertical type tool, exact same thing as the horizontal, except for it's just going to type up and down. And then you've got vertical type um, mask tool and horizontal mask tool. These are two things that I'll go over in another video. These aren't really used, um, and I'll have to explain for those of you who don't know what masks are um, in that video because it's a little bit more complex. But uh, for your general purposes of Photoshop and creating designs right now, right out the gate, uh, these two things are completely unnecessary. And even at the level that I'm doing designs, um, I don't use these two tools, but I'll, I'll explain those later on. Um, the next little section that we'll go over um, is going to be uh, the path select section um, and then the uh, um, shape section. So uh, the path select section actually is uh, something that we'll probably skip um, for now. It's not super important, um, but it will... Uh, It'll be something that we'll touch on later on in a, in a little more advanced section um, along with the text and that's kind of how to type in circles and do that kind of stuff. Um, so the next thing we'll go over is going to be the, the rectangle tool and all the other shape tools. So we'll see you in the next video.